Recently, I went on a trip to celebrate my fourth year of being on YouTube and seven years with having a tracheostomy tube and a ventilator. When flying home, it was supposed to be an easy series of flights. I would fly to a connecting city and then I would get a second flight to go home. Since we live a long ways from the airport, when I arrived at the connecting city, I would call my dad to let him know he should leave for the airport. When my second plane was departing, I would text him to let him know I was leaving. That is how it was supposed to have worked, but this is how it ended up happening. While on my first flight, we approached the connecting city from the east. There were strong storms which prevented our plane from landing. All round and around in the sky we flew for an hour. Unfortunately, I had no way to contact my dad. I could not communicate with him to not leave for the airport. I could not tell him I was most likely going to miss my connecting flight. After an hour, the pilot made a daring move. He flew around the storms and came into the airport from the west. When we landed, we were halted on the tarmac. Lightning was detected in the area. A bolt of lightning crashed to the ground. We were then allowed to proceed to the gate. I frantically called my dad. Hi, Dad. There were bad storms in the area. We had a circle in the air on the airplane for an hour. I only have 40 minutes to get my bags, recheck them, and get through security. I do not think I will make it to my connecting flight in time. Please do not come to the airport. My dad told me he had errands to run and that he had already left for the airport. He would wait to hear back from me if I was able to catch my connecting flight before turning around and going home. Once I exited the plane, I had to pick up my luggage and recheck it for my next flight. However, due to the lightning, all ground crew operations were stopped. The baggage area was shut down. I called my dad. Hi, Dad. Please go home. According to a text message I received from my airline, my connecting flight will leave in just five minutes. I do not have my luggage yet. I will not be able to make my connection. I will call you when I find out when I'm able to fly home. My dad left the airport and drove home. As I checked the status of other flights going to my region, I saw that all flights had been canceled due to weather. My flight was the only one still flying, and now I was about to miss it. An announcement suddenly came on over the loudspeaker. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the weather, all grounds crew operations have been halted, and no planes are being allowed to land. The airport is now closed. As soon as I heard this, I checked the status of my connecting flight. Great news! It was now delayed until 6.20. This was a ray of light. I still might make my connecting flight. An hour later, the airport reopened. Fifteen minutes later, the baggage carousel started up and began delivering bags. I had 50 minutes to make it to my flight. I dropped off my bags to be rechecked and then raced off to security. The wait at security was a long one. Since I traveled with water from my heated humidifier, the water had to be tested. Also, all my medical equipment had to be checked. The person from wheelchair assistance pushed my wheelchair as fast as he could. We sped through the airport. At 6.22, we arrived at the gate. There was no one around. My heart broke. I must have missed the plane. A woman from the airline then informed us that the flight had been delayed. Due to all the delays, the flight crew had a clock out. They were now waiting for another flight crew. The plane would now depart at 11.30. I exited the wheelchair and began waiting in the waiting area. Even though the woman said it would be a five hour delay, flights were constantly changing. I needed to just sit and wait for my flight. About 10 minutes later, the signboard said my flight was now leaving at 6.50. Boarding would begin shortly. At 7.10, boarding began. I called my dad. Hi, dad. Guess what? They rescheduled my flight. I will be leaving in about a half an hour. It is about an hour flight and then I have to get my luggage. So in about two hours, I'll be ready to be picked up. 
My dad told me to text me when the plane was departing. He would then leave to pick me up. At 7.40, the plane departed. I text my dad. We were on our way. As the airplane was slowly making its way to the runway, the captain came on the intercom. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I am sorry about all the delays. It has been a crazy day with the weather and flights being delayed and canceled. We should make it to our destination in one hour and five minutes. This will be a longer flight than normal because we have to fly around some storms. Also, mid-flight there will be turbulence. I was not excited to have turbulence on this flight, but nonetheless, we would soon be home. 18 minutes after takeoff, the turbulence began. At first, it was rocky. I gripped my armrests. A few minutes later, the captain came on the intercom. Flight attendants, immediately take your seats. There is turbulence ahead. The flight attendants ran for their seats and buckled up. As soon as their seatbelts clicked, the ride from hell began. The airplane began going through terrible turbulence. The plane shook from side to side and kept going up and down in the sky. It was so rough, I smacked my head on the side of the plane. 25 minutes into the flight, a bright light seemed to shoot across the outside of the plane, and simultaneously, there was a very loud kaboom. I immediately thought, I think that was lightning, which just hit our plane. There was stunned silence in the cabin. After a few minutes, people began asking each other, were we just hit by lightning? This question did not have time to be answered because now the turbulence was worse. The plane violently shook side to side. Up and down the plane was tossed. From my seat, it looked as though first class was always at a different altitude than my seat. As I glanced around the cabin, Fear seemed to radiate from every person's face. One woman looked as though she was going to be sick. For the next 20 minutes, the plane was tossed around the sky like a ping pong ball. Alas, I looked out my window and I could see land. Wow, this is a little unexpected. Although 45 minutes is the usual flight time, the pilot said at the beginning of today's flight, it would take an hour and five minutes. Only 45 minutes had elapsed since takeoff. Perhaps we were able to get through the storms faster than expected. The captain then came on the intercom. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We will soon be landing. We were struck by lightning back there. The lightning damaged the plane. We needed to turn around and go back to our departure city to have the plane repaired. Don't worry, the plane is still safe to fly. There were two storm cells and the computer said we should have been able to fly between them, but... We could not. We hit a wall and could not fly any farther. In a few moments, we will be on the ground. We will stop on the runway and emergency vehicles will meet us. Please remain seated. The plane needs to be inspected on the runway. Once we are cleared, we will proceed to the gate. At the gate, a gate agent will meet you and tell you what to do. Panic gripped the cabin. What? We were struck by lightning. <gasps> Our plane is damaged. Oh, oh, we are going to die. We are going to die. Oh, this is in our destination outside our windows. Oh, we, we endured that flight for nothing. Oh. The plane came in for a direct landing. A number of emergency vehicles were waiting for us. The runway was shut down. It was an emergency landing.
When the plane stopped on the runway, the emergency vehicle swarmed the plane. Bright lights were cast upon the airplane. It felt as though the plane was under arrest. After a few minutes, the plane was escorted by emergency vehicles to the gate. After a few more minutes, everyone was cleared to exit the plane. I immediately called my dad. Hi dad, I am so sorry. Our plane was struck by lightning. We had to return back to the airport. This was the last flight for the night. I will not be making it home until tomorrow. My dad told me he was at the airport. He would turn around and go home. What he did not tell me is that there were strong storms in the area. He had to drive to and from the airport in severe weather. The rest of my night is a story for another time. I ended up getting a hotel and getting into the hotel at 1 a.m. At 4.30 a.m., I had to wake up to begin my breathing treatments and get ready for my flight. After more delays to my flight, at 9.40, the plane departed and praise be to God, we safely landed at our destination. After claiming my luggage at baggage claim, my dad picked me up and we returned home. Despite all my travel adventures, I want to thank my dad for driving three times to the airport in less than 24 hours, and one of those times being in severe weather. I am so grateful to have such a kind and caring father. I am truly blessed to have you in my life. I want to wish you a very happy Father's Day. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Happy Father's Day. Bye-bye.